Soundstripe. Hi, I'm Susanna. Welcome to the Mapro Masterclass. Today, I'm speaking with Alex Koch de Guren. Alex has come to spend two days with us and we're visiting a number of properties and meeting with a number of uh, clients, client buyers and client vendors uh, to catch up on the current position of the market. What, what would you say were the most frequently asked questions by somebody looking to buy here? Frequently asked. I mean, I think it's the same in any country. People come here with a preconceived idea of what they want. Uh, I must have a sea view. I must have this. I must have that. You know, I must be on a golf course. Or, um, and actually, what I think we've seen, especially with people who are moving into the area, you know, whereas I would only look in Quinta del Lago or Del Lobo because I want to be within one of the developments, one of the resorts. Actually, people are quite happy to look a little bit further out now and look at other areas where they get maybe more of a view or more space around them or something like that. Um, I think really still we have clients who come to me with three areas to consider when they're looking to buy. If they are Kinta people, then they are only Kinta, that's it. And they are very specific about where they want to be within Kinta. Um, but if they're generally just starting their search in Portugal, in the Algarve, or in Portugal generally, then it's the Golden Triangle, it's the Western Algarve, and it's up in Cascais or Lisbon. And those are the three touch points. And what we've done by getting this new team now in Lisbon, where they have offices in both, is that we're getting that flow of people that are coming through. So the people that turn up on their doorstep in Kishkash, they're able to send now down to us and vice versa. It just allows us to make sure that we're keeping that circle within the group uh, and making sure that we're able to promote some of those real key properties to people that may be considering Kishkash. We had one example the other day, a lady who was looking, I only want Lisbon because accessibility, I need to fly regularly from, I think it was Geneva. Uh, actually, in reality, she fell in love with the house down here. So it just shows, you know, we never buy the things we set out to buy, so we need to have that, that opportunity. Absolutely. <clears throat> and to add to that, really, what also happens, what, the, what we've noticed is that before people would come up with a set budget, and that's really was their cutoff point, where they, that's what mm. they wanted to buy. And now people tend to be a little bit more flexible because it's more than just a holiday home. It's you know, somewhere where they're going to be spending a whole lot more time and their budget may change significantly based on the area or the house or you know, all sorts of other conditions that they prioritise and value mm -hmm. to finding the perfect home for them. If you're buying a holiday, you can only justify a certain amount. If you're buying your primary residence, then actually that's a, it's a very different conversation. Very much so. Thank you for joining us, Alex. Thank you for joining us in our first masterclass. I look forward to seeing you more often and sharing more news about the Portuguese property market.